So today we are in New California, Ohio. I wanted to stop off here and show you guys the statue. Jeremy, I'm assuming it's Jeremy, Jeremy Township Soldiers Monument. It's either Jerome or Jeremy. I'm, I'm going to go with Jeremy. It reads, this monument was dedicated on Memorial Day of 1913 to honor the Union soldiers of the Civil War from Jeremy Township. Many citizens, school children, and Civil War veterans attended the dedication as Colonel W.L. Curry, who fought at Chickamauga, Chickamauga, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, spoke to the crowd. The zinc monument contains the names of 400 soldiers of the township. The shaft is just over 21 feet high. Placed inside was a time capsule containing a number of historical documents, including 60 photographs of Civil War veterans. Donations from a grateful community and a bequest from R.L. Woodburn, a Civil War veteran and Ohio legislator, funded the monument. And we have a continuance on the other side. It says Civil War 150, Ohio. And this is Ohio marker 17-80. So we're going to look on the other side because there is a continuance. This reads. Jeremy Township Soldiers Monument continued from the other side. Some of your boys, my fellow citizens, fought on almost every great battlefield of the war. They were at Gettysburg, Chickamauga. They were at Shiloh, Stone River, Sheep Mountain, Fort Republic. Antietam, Vicksburg, and many of the battlefields of Virginia. They were in the 100 days under fire from Chattanooga to Atlanta. Some of them marched with Sherman to the sea, and others were at Appot Appomattox at the surrender of Lee's army. This is the true story of the services of the soldiers of this township to whom you pay tribute. And that was a quote from an address by Colonel W.L. Curry at Monument's dedication, May 30th, 1913. Jeremy Township Trustees, the Ohio Historical Society, 2013. But yeah, I wanted to stop for the siren. I wanted to stop out here because I come by here like all the time when I come to Columbus. This is uh, in New California which is a little tiny town just right outside of Dublin, you know, Columbus, Ohio. I drive by here all the time and I've never stopped. So it's pretty interesting to uh, stop out here and uh, take a look at the history. So inside this monument is a time capsule as it read on the uh, marker. A bunch of soldiers' names. Go ahead and pause the video if you are interested in reading any of these names. We got Gettysburg, and we have the church bells ringing over there. This is our Jeremy Township heroes in honor of the men who served in the Army of the Union. Those who fought and lived and those who fought and died. May the shaft ever call to memory the story of the glory of the men who wore the blue. 1913. Going to the other side. This side reads Chickamauga. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We have some more names. Once again, if you are interested, 
please feel free to pause the video. So I adjusted the settings on my camera because it was just getting really dark and you couldn't read. I've seen any of this. It reads bright upon the historic page and rolled their name shall ever shine with peerless luster age on age through brightening realm of coming time. And on this side we got Vicksburg. Once again, pause the video if you are interested in reading the names. War of Revolution, 1776, Colonel James Curry, War of 1812. We have some names on there. Go ahead and pause the video if you are interested in reading any of this. And then the final side we have Appomattox, and I'm probably pronouncing this name wrong as well as some others. We have some more names. So once again, I just wanted to stop out here. Like I said, I've been through here dozens and dozens of times. I've never stopped out here though. But I think it's important to check out these statues because the way cancel culture is going right now, they're taking a bunch of statues away, which I think is just complete crap. I think statues should be left up. Yeah, I do believe that there are statues that are being put up that I don't think should be put up of people. So I think it's important to if we can't save the statues, I think it's important to preserve them on video. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see any more stuff like this. Uh, kind of unexpected. Uh, but yeah, I was heading to Columbus to film a video already, which will be coming up here soon. But uh, yeah, I just want to stop out and film this for you guys because like I said, we never know when statues are going to get taken down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.